Hello everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In last episode we defeated the Ebony Warrior and we also got Umbra, which is a pretty cool sword. So, in this episode we have one final thing to do in Skyrim. This episode is going to be extremely controversial. Um, I want to say right now, by the way, I don't ever kill Parpanax, okay? I have, I've done it once, just, and then I reloaded the save, just to see, because I didn't know if something, like, special would happen or anything. It doesn't, just so you know. <laughs> it's a completely lame quest, and there's, like, no reward for it, really. Uh, but, I did do it once, but I've never, like, done it and kept it. So, yeah, I'm completely on the side of, there's no need to kill Parthenax, and the blades are being completely ridiculous. I really don't like the blades, to be honest. They're, like, they're really cool in Oblivion, but yeah, in Skyrim, they're... I don't know. Esbert and Delphine are a bit iffy, in my opinion. But anyway, I would like to check in with Angir, who, oh man, I've got to try and find him. <laughs> I hate trying to find people in High Hrothgar. It's so difficult sometimes. Angir, buddy, are you, are you here somewhere? Sometimes they're like out in the yard uh, playing around with their, their shout. Because it's so funny, right? Because they're always like, oh, you know, oh, you should only use your voice in true need, Dragonborn, Dovahkiin, whatever. And yet, you know, they're always like out in the back garden. Uh, you know, whirlwind sprinting and stuff all the time, like just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Which seems very, um, oh, they're all here. Hi. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods and returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? Yeah, I, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that was... That was a long time ago. Um, as dead as I can make him. Then it is done at last. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide, and the path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus. Dragonborn, your future lies before you. Okay, thanks for the wisdom. We are all in your debt, Dragonborn. Is Alduin really dead? I didn't absorb his soul when he died. Perhaps, perhaps not. Dragons are not like normal mortal creatures, and Alduin is unique, even among dragonkind. He may be permitted to return at the end of time to fulfill his destiny as the World Eater. But that is for the gods to decide. You have done your part. I, I'm pretty sure we've got all the words of power, but I'm going to ask this anyway. Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Oh? Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Map updated, find the word of power in Arkwind Point. Have we not been to Arkwind? I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, because we, we've done all the locate. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, <laughs> in other news, the Blades want me to kill Parthenax. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Is it true what they said? Was he Alduin's ally? Yes, but understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. I haven't decided what to do yet. Ah, you're learning, Dragonborn. Doing nothing can be the wisest choice, although strangely often the most difficult. I trust that you will make the right choice in the end. 
Listen to the voice that Kinnereth has placed within you, and your path will be clear. Okay, we already said that, but... Okay, well, mm. thank you for the insight, right. Hungir. Uh, unfortunately for Parthenax, there's a quest in our journal called Parthenax, and the only objective is kill Parthenax. <laughs> and this is a 100% playthrough, which means I don't think we have any choice. Is this, um, we've definitely already been to Arquin Point. Yeah, yeah, we've been here. It doesn't say cleared, but... I'm not sure, that's really annoying, because I think it might just stay in our journal forever now, which sucks, if that's the case. But, let's go and visit Parthenax at the Throat of the World. It's been a while, you know, we'll go and say hello, see what he has to say about this as well. Uh, Shanamir, please don't get involved in any of this. Is that, oh, that's Odaving. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I guess, do, do you just hang out here with Parthenax now? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, hi, buddy. Long time no see, eh? Drem your look. Greetings. Okay, so yeah, we don't have any of the dialogue. Uh, we could... Uh, we think we've, we've already meditated on a word of power. We've already got the uh, force without effort, I think. So we, we stagger 25% less and bows stagger 25% more, I think. Um, and yeah, that's definitely the best one. So, this is the only other thing we can say. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this. But they do not. Only Khan Niovdova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zingrif Horvut. Say, Suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Okay, so that's all he has to Lok say. Thum. So, I think our reasoning, we are going to kill Parthenax because it is a quest in our journal. I don't like the idea of killing Parthenax. I like, no one does. Everyone loves Parthenax, obviously. And yeah, the blades are just completely ridiculous. I don't like the blades at all, but it is a, it, it's a quest, and we've got to do all the quests. So we are going to kill him, and I think our reasoning, Luvana's reasoning for killing him, is uh, he has nothing more to teach us, you know? And, and I mean, I'm sure you can say, like, lore-wise, he probably does. <laughs> but in, in a game sense, there is nothing more he can teach us at all. We've got every single ounce of power we can from him, and even though he does probably have knowledge, he's not going to He's not going to give us that knowledge because he's very much with the Greybeards and their sense of, you know, oh, only use power when you need to and you shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't dominate and you shouldn't kill people. And Luvana does not subscribe to that. <laughs> not at all. She's very much a I do whatever the hell I like kind of person and she's not exactly a nice gal. So given that he is obviously, you know, a dragon, he poses some sort of threat, I suppose. Not practically, but, you know, theoretically he does. Uh, oh, look at that! Parthenax is watching Odaving. Take it in, because it's the last thing you'll ever see, buddy. <laughs> I wonder if Odaving's actually going to get mad. I don't really know why he's flying around here. I didn't realize he just stays here forever. I thought he just kind of disappeared unless you called him, but... Yeah, I guess he just is permanently going to be circling the throat of the world, which is... Interesting. He can circle Parthenax's corpse in a second, but <laughs> I'm really rubbing it in, aren't I? Yes! I think Luvana sees no reason to leave him alive, and, more importantly, the Blades, although they're, they're complete idiots, they are an important political ally, because, of course, they are a separate faction, there's a whole lot of tension there between them and the Alphamary Dominion and the, um, you know, the Empire and everything, so it's, I think it's important for, you know, political strength for Luvana to be with the Blades, or at least have contacts in the Blades, which we can't do unless we kill Parthenax, so, and I think that's reason enough, so... We can't just, like, tell him that we're going to kill him, so I think we're just going to attack him. I don't really know how strong he is, but... Not too strong. Are you not going to fight back? Oh, 
okay, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> he is fighting back, and we killed him. He didn't even get to fight back. How very, dis very, very, yeah, like, honestly, really disappointing. <laughs> really disappointing. Talk to Delphine. We'll do that in a second. And yeah, he doesn't even have anything special. I mean, it would have been so cool if he did. Like, we could take, like, like Parthenax's horn or something. That would be cool. Or, like, a tooth. And it, like, at least that would, like, g give you a reason to kill him. Because there really is no reason to kill him at all. Like, you, know, you get nothing from this, but... Here we go. Parthenax is dead. Uh, and this would make a pretty thumbnail, so... <laughs> there we go. That was honestly, like, a really disappointing fight. It wasn't even a fight. I mean, the, we just fought the Ebony Warrior in the last episode, and that was a difficult fight. This was pathetic. So, yeah, anyway, and now... Final thing to do. Bye bye <laughs> I love that. I love that they just never took that out of the game. That's amazing. Okay, so it does hurt my heart a little bit to kill Parthenax, but it was a quest. And we have to do the quest. So, we're going to go and talk to Armgear. And, uh, spoiler alert, he's not going to be very happy, I don't think. <laughs> we just killed his, you know, his favourite dragon, their pet dragon. I don't think you can really have a pet dragon. I don't think they'd really believe that. Is this Armgear? No, it's Einar. Armgear, here we go. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be really thrilled. This is how you repay our trust. Parthenax's trust. His noble spirit. The wisdom of ages. His deep understanding of our existence, all gone, and for what? Political power. A mindless vendetta urged on you by a cabal of Akaviri barbarians. Be gone, before even my philosophy is tested beyond the breaking point. We are men of peace, and you are not. Correct, because um, first of all, I'm not a man, like in any sense of the word, because I'm a woman, but also an elf. <laughs> So literally not a man in any sense. Uh, and yeah, I never claimed to be any sort of person of peace, like at all, at any point. So, it, I mean, if you believe the straight lies that come out of Luvana's mouth, that's on you, honey. So yeah, and the other guys don't talk. So there we go. Parthenax is dead. It hurts my heart. And I know people are really not going to like this at all, but it had to be done. It was a quest. And I do think Luvana has... A, a you know a genuine like role play reason to do so um so i i think it i think it fits so anyway i know people are gonna be upset and trust me i'm also a little bit upset but <laughs> it, it must be done okay so because they also the blades still have like a couple of miscellaneous quests for us which we have to do this is 100 percent. so let's talk to esburn yes. first what is it about parthenax I wish there were another way, Dragonborn, but it falls to you to serve justice upon Parthenax. It's done. Parthenax is dead. At long last, an ancient evil is avenged. The shades of many blades salute you this day. Oh, did he send us to kill a dragon? I <laughs> the dragon of Elder's Blood Peak is dead? It's good to see the blades fighting alongside the Dragonborn once again. To think we're treading in the footsteps of thousands of years past. While you're out hunting, keep a sharp eye open for any dragon scales and bones you might find. I'd be interested in looking at them. Oh! Bring a dragon scale and a dragon bone to Esba- Oh! That's not even on my list of quests. Okay, well, we'll do that. Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. I need that dragon slaying blessing. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. That's okay, open. Dragon Slayer's Blessing added. I've never gotten this because I've never killed Parthenax and stuck with it. So, is it an act of effect or a power? I have no idea. I hate the active effects list. Dragon Slayer's Blessing. 10% increased critical, critical hit chance versus dragons for five days? 
Okay, so when you hit a dragon, you have a 10% increased chance of having a critical hit. That is trash. Because <laughs> critical hits do absolutely nothing. So, thanks thanks for nothing, Esben. Now, where where is uh, where's Delphine? Find... Oh, right, we haven't got the, the quest activated, I suppose. We don't want to do this. Oh, do we not have... Oh, I guess because I thought the quest said return to Delphine, but I guess it was just either of them. Okay, so uh, do we actually have a miscellaneous quest for... Yeah, bring Dragon Scale and Dragon Bone to Esbern. So we will do that. We have many of those. But I do want to find Delphine, but I do not know where she is. <laughs> so we're going to have to track her down. Is there anything... Did they clean this up? I think they might have actually cleaned this up a little bit since we were last here. Yeah, they definitely have. Uh, no one... Oh, no, here we go. Here's Delphine. Hi. No, no, no. We want to talk to her, not feed her. What do you her. need, Dragonborn? So this is all the blades? Two people? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Maybe I can help you find new recruits. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Okay, bring a follower to Delphine. Yes, that was the miscellaneous quest I was looking for. So those we are going to go and do those, and we'll also go and take a look at Arquin Point. I think annoyingly that uh, miscellaneous quest will probably stay in our inventory. Because, um, yeah, I th I, we've got all the words of power, and we've definitely done Arquin Point, so I don't see what we would get from that. So, yeah, that sucks if that's the case. What is this? Just, uh, what, what, excuse me, can I have a look? Okay, I don't know what that says. Anyway, let's just go and check out Arquin Point real quick. Uh, and see if we can get rid of this. I really don't think we can, which is going to suck, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, yes, of course, there's always drama going on down here, isn't there? So let's get Dusk and Dawn out. We've got, oh, is that a legendary dragon? I think so. Uh, this is one of the places where a legendary dragon is guaranteed to spawn once you hit, I believe it is level 78. Are you a legendary dragon? I think so. Yeah, from the looks of those... Uh, wings and everything they're like he's like pink hi we've got a, a dragon priest yeah he, he's just a an unnamed dragon priest like i care little for your nonsense so let's just uh hack and slash away at you put you down thank you very much uh we've got yeah legendary dragon is causing some havoc i assume that this is not gonna work yeah no that doesn't work okay yeah that's what i thought fair enough yeah i really shouldn't have asked him that oh well oh man i should have dragon rendered him <laughs> Have you killed Dusk and Dawn? Oh, no, no, they're still good. They're still good. Okay, can you, um, you get down here? Yeah, you are a legendary dragon. That's exactly what I thought you'd be. Uh, so, we're just gonna, just gonna dragon rend you. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, no, no. Don't, don't you take that tone with me, sir. Thank you very much. I've just, I don't know if you know this, but I've just killed Parthenax. Uh, like the, what, head dragon or something? I mean, I guess Alduin was the head dragon, but I killed him too. So, you're doing a little bit of damage, sir. I applaud you for that. Parthenax didn't even get hit in. We got some <laughs> some skeletons. Oh yeah, I remember the skeletons. <laughs> they were yeah walking a line, weren't they? Okay, let's get Dusk and Dawn back out. I'm pretty sure they have disappeared. We are of course weak to fire, but <laughs> this guy isn't particularly powerful anyway. I just killed Dusk, but whatever, that's fine. We can kill this guy with our magic way faster than we can with a dagger. We don't have enough magic. <laughs> well, that's something we can fix very easily. Uh, Potion of Ultimate Magicka. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely do have enough magicka. Don't you be giving me that game. And bye bye. Who else have we got? We got some some ske skeletons over here. Or yeah, definitely there's something going on over there. Some is, are they vigilants? Maybe I have no idea because isn't this this is near? Whoa! Okay, hi guys. <laughs> you guys just spawned out of nowhere, didn't you? Yeah, this is definitely yeah, this is a place where. We'll... <laughs> oh, and this is amazing actually. We can get yeah the the bones and scales here. Perfect. We'll take one of each of those and we'll give them to Esber. Now, what the hell is going on over here? I'm pretty sure this is the 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 red cavern or something. Oh it my years, I've never seen such a thing. Really? I, I have many times, trust me. Yeah, this is to do with the uh uh the Mythic Dawn Creation Club quest. Yeah. Okay, well there we go. That is all done. So what we now need to do yeah unfortunately that's gonna stay there. But we are gonna go to White Run. And we're gonna see if we can get Uthgird? Uh, in the Bannered Mare to be a follower and then take her to Delphine. I'm not going to set anything on fire. Calm, calm down. Honestly, these NPCs are so melodramatic. What, you never walked around with a fireball in your hand before? I do it all the time, guys, okay? It's 
It's chill. It's fine. Just don't don't worry about it. But yeah, I think. Well, I don't know if Uthgar is eligible. I would think so. I think I got the clean. Where is she actually? <laughs> I don't know. Where is Uthgard? We got Sinma. You have come. I don't even know who Sinma you have come is. To hear the word of Talos. No, I have not. Uh, cause she's usually here, Uthgard. Have we got um she's like back here? Oh, it looks like uh, the the guy's body. Armand Motier has been his body's been removed. Where is Uthgard? She's usually back here. We didn't kill her, did we? <laughs> did we use Uthgard for um Boethia? Need something. I don't think we did. Did we? We might have. We might have actually. Um, which would be a shame. Yeah, you know what? I think we actually might have. Uh, I don't think Lydia counts. Um, because I think she's just, uh... Yeah, no, I don't think Lydia counts. But I think if we go to... Is it Windhelm? I think it's Windhelm. Um, uh, there should be a good guy that we can hire in... Whatever the hell the inn is called. We're about to find it. The Frozen Hearth? Is this the Frozen Hearth? No, Candle Hearth Hall. I was, I was close. I was close. Uh, the frozen hearth is that winterhold maybe maybe uh okay is there is there a, a, a beefy man i can hire in here i think this guy stenvar if, if you're looking to hire the strongest mercenary in skyrim i'd wager your search is over consider yourself hired my blade is sharp and i thirst for battle onward then excellent okay so i'm not sure if this guy Let's will go. count but hopefully he will if not then i'll cut and i'll um Go and find a follower that does count. But we now have dragon bones, scales, and a man <laughs> who will hopefully count. Um, I'm not 100% sure that he will because he's just like hired and not technically our friend. But yeah, here he is. So I was worried he might not actually be able to follow us in here. But no, it does seem like he can. Hopefully he can actually come into the temple itself because um, I don't use followers that often. So don't, are you able to cut? Yeah, yeah, he's still here. Great. Okay. Esburn, Delphine, I am back. Uh, who have we got? Is Esben still over here? No. And it's not giving me a marker towards Esben either. I don't... Oh no, okay, we just haven't activated that. So, have we got a marker towards Esben now? We have, excellent. So, looks like they're probably both having a snooze, maybe? Or are they just... No, no, they're just walking. Okay, here's Delphine. Hi. What is it? Ah, there we go. I brought someone to induct into the blades. Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. I'm sure. The Blades needs new members. Very well. He seems like a fighter to me. I'll give him the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. Okay, there you we there. go. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance to join the Lost Guardians of Tamriel. The Dragon Slayers. The Blades. Do you wish to become a Blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here and devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger? I do. Then by my right as acting Grandmaster, I name you a blade, with all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. There we go. That was a very quick decision, wasn't it? Do you have anything else to say? By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. Okay, there we go. And yeah, you can All still right be then. a follower, but yeah, so I guess that uh, that quest just stays in our inventory forever then. So, where is Esburn? In here, perhaps? These guys are always a bit difficult to find. Yeah, he's in here. Wakey, wakey, buddy. I have you your scales something? and bones. Here's a dragon scale and a bone. Have you ever heard of the expression? The scale of the Argonian that bit you. No. No, I guess not. Well, the principle applies here. It's a potion made from those dragon parts. Give it a try. Oh! Esburn's potion. Oh my god, that's a unique item. What does that do? Potions? Esburn's potion grants you the dragon infusion perk. What in the hell is that? I have never seen this because I've never I've never done this. Potions, Esburn's potion. What what is that? <laughs> is that an active effect or Dragon Infusion? Dragons do 25% less melee damage. That's good. So yeah, I guess you can just you can trade in the bones and the scales to Esburn for all of those potions. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Never never ever done that, but that's gonna go in my chest of unique things, of course. 
And we are done with the blades. Yeah, I'm assuming you can just like infinitely bring him those and he'll make you more of them, I guess. Um, but yeah, we are done in Skyrim completely. As far as I'm aware, again, if you know of anything that we have not done in Skyrim, please tell me and we will come back and do it, of course. But as far as I'm aware, that is everything that we can do in Skyrim. So now, the only thing left to do is to head back to Solstheim and finish off things there. We still have a decent amount of quests and dungeons to do. Uh, nowhere near as many as Skyrim, Captain obviously, because it's a much smaller landmass. I'm just a ship's mate. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Whatever, moving on. That's that's fine. Never a dull day in Skyrim, guys, or Solstheim, I suppose this is. Okay, what have we got going on here, guys? So, we do have a couple of quests. Uh, we have Filial Bonds and Lost Legacy. Why don't we give Filial Bonds a go? Hey, <laughs> I don't think this will work, but let's just try. Let's go to, I think it's, it's like up here. It's like down this coast or something that we need to go. So, like, let's just go to Frostle and see if we can... <laughs> Find a random encounter. There are some random encounter spots that are, well, they're all set spots, but I want to just see if I can find them naturally. I'm not sure if it'll work out. Let's uh, heal, our, heal our stamina so that we can run. Are we going the right direction? No, we are not. <laughs> We're going to be going that way and up the coastline, because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some good random encounters up that coastline. I might be completely wrong, but hey, we'll just have a check anyway. I'm assuming a lot of these camps are going to have respawned. We've got a hawker there, but that's none of our business. So let's just uh, run on past him. And also, now that we have, uh, uh, we've maxed out all of our skills as well, and the one-handed, of course, I can go back. Uh, I don't have to worry about, like, summoning a horse in Solstheim anymore, which is important. Trust me, it will come into play soon. Um, because, of course, I don't need Shadowmere anymore, technically. Because, uh, of course, his biggest boon is that I can use him to grind out skills on. And I know that, that hurts some people, because you don't want to hurt Shadowmere, our trustful steed. But listen, it's it's a video game, okay? It doesn't actually matter, and it's a very useful a useful tool, okay? We've got any random encounters? We've just seen a whole lot of hawkers. See now, is this a yeah? See, like this is a random encounter right here. I think hawkers and uh, what a wolf. Don't, don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm I'm just walking through, okay? Don't mind me at all. Now, ah, we need to go there at some point. Probably soon. Have we got any random encounters? I don't think so. No, that's very disappointing. We do have a cave, though, on a map, which we have not seen yet. So, why don't we go and check that out? Because we need to, uh, we need to do all the locations in Solstheim at some point, so we may as well do that. And I don't really want to start anything big right now, so... I thought, yeah, the water's turning green, so I, I thought that, uh... There might be a lurker coming out to come and try and smack me in the face. Ooh, we got two caves here. Uh, can we even... Hopefully we can get up here. <laughs> We're kind of very much in the middle of nowhere here. Oh yeah, okay, this looks like we're going to be able to get up here, that's good. We have some more hawkers here. Can I, excuse me, can I get up? Thank you. Don't mind me, guys, don't mind me, boys, I'm just walking through. Don't worry about it, Glacial Cave. Oh, no, see? See, I told you I was just walking through, but listen, if you want to start shit, I can start some shit, okay? I need all the one-handed progress I can get, because we need to get that back up. So, Glacial Cave, now. Is this the one I'm thinking of? If it is, it will be very short, I believe. Mm, I don't know, it's already not looking like the one I'm thinking of, so hey, I suppose we'll do it anyway, because as, as far as I remember, if it's not the one I'm thinking of- Oh! No, it is the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> it is definitely the one I'm thinking of. Okay, so, there is not going to be- Yep, hello. This uh, this is the whole location, by the way. Would you look at that over there? That's an interesting thing, haven't we? Isn't it? Let's uh, actually let's get out of sneak, because I want to uh, want to get as much one-handed progress as possible. Unfortunately, these guys are not- Particularly beefy, so they don't take much damage, but hey, I'll take the 12 gold, and... Wouldn't you say that's an awfully interesting looking thing in the wall, eh? Let's make a hot save, because that would also make a great thumbnail. And why don't we take Karstag's skull, eh? Nothing, nothing dangerous happens, but if you look on our, if we look on our map... Would you look at here? We've, we've got Castle Karstag Caverns. Castle Karstag, eh? Isn't that similar to the, uh... You know, Skull of Karstag that we just picked up, or Karstag Skull, whatever it was called. We got, oh, a flawless diamond in here. Hell yeah, we'll take some Reekling Spears as well. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I think we've pretty much got all of the Reekling Spears that we need, but hey, we'll take them anyway. So, yes, there we go. If I can, I can tick this location off my list now, which is always, I love I love just being able to tick locations off my list. It's as, uh, extremely satisfying to me, especially when I can do a lot at like the end of one episode. It's 
it, it's 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 just great. Okay, it feels great. That's why I make the big lists. So we do have another. Uh, we we have another cave up here, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get up to that one. Cause yeah, we, we've got two actually. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get up. But yeah, that is a very interesting item we just picked up, and also very relevant. We won't be doing that for a while. In fact, we'll probably end the let's play with that. To be honest, we got what is go? Oh, okay, we have got some frost trolls over here. Yeah, you see, so this is a random encounter right here. These frost trolls. This is a random encounter. So this is what you need to look for when you're looking for uh, Torkoal. Which really, really sucks. We've got, yeah, Steel Sword. We've got a Reaver Marauder, who clearly did not fare very well. A dead, yeah, a whole load of dead hawkers. So, yeah, there we go. Ooh, anything anything interesting down here? We've got a little, uh, I don't know what you call this, like ravine or something. But, yeah, the, the other caves are up there, which we're not going to be able to get to. So, I think let's head back to... Oh, actually, we're going to head to Colby on Barrow, which, of course, we've done the quest related to this. But I actually missed a unique item in here, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and have a look at it. Now, it may be gone. Um, it, excuse me, where's the front door? There we go. <laughs> Super confused then. I thought, I was like, oh god, please don't tell me the, the door's disappeared. But no, hopefully things haven't respawned in here. I would hope not. Are we all good? I think we're all good. Okay, so yeah, it may have disappeared, but... Oh! Skull, there we go. Okay, so, if you look at this skull, obviously this is the one that was on the pressure plate to open that door. This is actually unique. So normally skulls are only worth like one gold or something, but you can see this one is worth 50. And it actually has like, you know, patterns engraved into it, which I have never noticed. So yeah, that's a unique item. So we're going to take that. <laughs> but there we go. That was the unique item I wanted to get. And yeah, I think I mentioned when we were getting the other unique items that uh, there was one in Solstein, but obviously we were going to wait till we go to Solstein before we actually go and get that. So there we go. There, there's, there's a little thing. Should we just do... Should we do a little bit of exploring or should we do... Because uh, I don't really want to start anything big. We have got a ship over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's go and explore this ship. We haven't got too much time left in this episode. So let's just do a little bit of exploration to end the episode. And I think... Is there something in this ship? There might be. It's uh, it, it's setting off like, you know, alarm bells in my head. Like, oh, there, there's something interesting in here. But I don't remember what, if anything, or if I'm simply mistaken. Or maybe it's... Related to Morrowind? I'm I'm not sure. Well, I mean, this whole thing's related to Morrowind. Obviously, we're in Morrowind, but you know what I mean. Hi, guys. Got some Reaver Outlaws. Yeah, okay. Wreck of the Strident Squall. Yeah, see, that, that name is definitely ringing a bell. Now, Shagoroth. What? Shagoroth. You should make Shagoroth. That's interesting. Re Reaver Lord. Man, you got some really cool armor on there. You got, like, the... Uh... Yeah, what's that? That's an alternative armor. What, what kind of armor is this? Ooh, 250 gold. Nice. Yeah, Star Room Fur Armor. Nice! Nice, nice job. Good for you, man. Uh, so, hi guys. I mean, I just killed your boss, so I mean... <laughs> surely you must know that you're going to meet the same fate, but hey, no. Anyway, hi guys! How are you doing? How's your day? Do you have anything interesting on this ship? Because I, I feel like you do. But I'm not entirely sure. Where's this other person? Hi, buddy. Reaver Thug. Hell yeah! <laughs> we just got a really nice close-up shot of Luvana's titties there. Uh, and also, we we took an arrow to the knee there, so I guess it's time to be a, a, a white run guard, eh? That will be Levada's ultimate fate, uh, guarding white run after we've taken an arrow to the knee, which actually just refers to getting married, by the way, in case you didn't know, because you know he gets down on one knee and proposes, etc. So there you go. That's a little fun fact. I'm sure there's at least some people that didn't know that. We have a locks chest, which is excellent. I mean, I'd prefer if it was, you know, a, a higher level lock so that we could get more lock picking progress, but. Hey, I'll take any kind of lock I can get. We've got a flawless diamond, 82 gold, and you can keep your other trash. Now, is there going to be... Oh! An East Empire Company strong box. That's exactly what I was looking for. With an expert lock. Oh, come on. It's so satisfying when it's right at the top. That's so perfect, but not quite. Not quite this time, guys. We didn't get that lucky. Can we... Come on. Come on. You're so close. You're cl so close. Don't give me this rubbish. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. And in here, we have two gold. Uh, a potion of ultimate healing and to nothing else. No, of course, there's an East Empire pendant. I'm not sure how many of those we have right now, but uh, probably quite a few. I believe there are 30 in total, and we do need all of them. So yeah, we should find most of them naturally just by uh, just just by exploring. So, uh, but I do believe there are a few at least that are just in kind of random locations. So ooh, look at this. Yeah, okay. So there's definitely an underwater bit here, but I want to want to go up this way first. <laughs> I suppose I'll just go around the other way rather than making my life significantly more difficult, but you all know me. You've got a big chest here. Ah! There we go. There's a special item. 
Lusty Argonian made folio. <laughs> okay. Ah, return the folio to Sindiri Arano in Ravenrock. There we go. So, oh, and there's an ancient Nordic pickaxe in here as well. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? They're kind of rare. Uh, well, yeah, they're, they're not really unique, but they are rare at least. So, got a nice little window here. They, re they really had a, you know, a, a nice thing going here. I mean, the whole place is waterlogged, which is probably not, you know, great for health and safety and everything. But can I, can I go down here, please? Can I, can I swim? Like, why? There we go. It was like totally just not letting me swim at all there, which was uh, very, very, very disturbing. I'm not really disturbing, but you know what I mean. Anything interesting back here? Any more, any more East Empire Company strong boxes? Any secrets? Is this just, oh, yeah, it is a secret. Red Guard? We've got nothing interesting on them, though. Silver Ring? So yeah, this is just one of the, one of the sailors, I suppose. We've got Giant's Toe, which is interesting. And excuse me, can I, can I search this satchel, please? Can I? Yeah, there we go. Apothecary satchel with, yeah, just some apothecary ingredients in it. I don't really know why I expected. Okay, well, yeah, there we go. So that is one of the one of the, sh the shipmates that the, the, the bandits or the reavers, I suppose, <laughs> that the reavers killed. That just goes outside. And yeah, it looks like there's nothing much else in here. So why don't we end this episode by heading back to Raven Rock? And Ooh, that was really fast. <laughs> heading back to Raven Rock, we'll hand in this folio. Uh, which is, yeah, if you don't know, the last Argonian made big joke. Of course, I mean, how can you not know about that at this point? But uh, I believe it's just, it's not any different, really. It's just that it's kind of a special item. Oh, do we know this? We do. Let's drop that on the floor. Lusty Argonian made folio edition. Yeah, so yeah, it's just folio edition and it's the same old stuff. Oh, there is a unique bit in it, though. So we're not going to read the actual thing because I don't want to get this video taken down. But <laughs> we, will, we will read the front bit. To the R.O. The Let me try that again. To the Urano family, when I showed up on your doorstep in Morrowind that day, I expected to be thrown back into the street and cast aside like some sort of vermin. Instead, you offered me into the warmth and safety of your home. For that, I will be eternally grateful. Please accept this rare folio edition of my work as a sign of appreciation for your kindness. Gracious Curio. And yeah, the Lusty Argonian Maid is basically the Elder Scrolls version of Pornhub. <laughs> so, and also it's really cool that you actually get to meet Gracious Curio in... Uh, Morrowind, that was really cool. So, uh, where is this? Where is this lady? I believe we'll take that off for now. I believe she's in, uh, she's one of the, the higher ups, right? Or maybe not. Where is she? In the tavern, maybe? Yeah, it looks like she's in the tavern. Isn't everyone in the tavern, eh? <laughs> okay, into the wretching niche we go. And hopefully she'll have some interesting dialogue for me. Looks, yeah, it looks like she is indeed down here drinking away her sadness because she doesn't have her uh, nice little smutty you book to read. Raven Rock back from the brink, traveler. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, well, I'm about to do you another Adjo, favor. Your efforts in Ravenrock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. You mentioned that you lost something? A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Actually, I already have it. Mavala, bless you. You found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. Circle of minor alteration. Okay. Who's your husband? Adril Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock. How I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it someday. You worry much on your husband's you behalf. He's in grave danger, and yet he continues to place himself in harm's way. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. This island was never meant for us. There's too much death here. Well, I mean, I've done the best I can. <laughs> Perhaps you should return to Morrowind. I assure you, if I could convince Adril to do that, I'd be on the next ship back to Blacklight. Unfortunately, Adril and Councillor Morvain are very close friends, and they will never abandon one another, despite my feelings. You haven't told him how you feel? I'm the wife of a second counselor, and certain things are expected of me. The most important thing is that I stand by Adril no matter how I feel, and I intend to do that until we get off this miserable rock. Okay, and we're going to call it a day for that dialogue there. So, anyway, oh yeah, there we go. There's Adelorano. That means something. 
cool. Thank you so much. Can I actually sell you stuff now? You got a good yeah, thing no, going okay. here now that you've reopened. <laughs> yeah, that's eyes. great. Okay, Don't so really we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will get back into some of the bigger quests since we're doing a lot of miscellaneous stuff recently. So yeah, we'll do some some big things. We'll do so this a lot of big exploration things to do. And of course, we'll help some of the, some of the little people <laughs> here and there as well. I don't think we haven't got many miscellaneous quests left to do. Only a few. So, for now, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, despite the uh, <laughs> uh, unpopular thing that we did. But listen, it had to be done. Okay, so just please don't dislike the video. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have enjoyed nonetheless. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Although I understand if you didn't. <laughs> Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.